Hi everyone, it's Dr. Romani. We're going to take on a very interesting philosophical and actually very real question today. Are narcissists happy? Before we get to that, you know, I'm always going to remind you, hit that bell and subscribe if you aren't already subscribing. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. But that's the big question, isn't it? I get it all the time, all the time. Are, is a narcissist happy? Because they're thinking, I'm not happy. Like, this is not pleasant to be the recipient of this kind of mistreatment, invalidation, all of that. But are they? It's an interesting question. When we think about any emotion, sadness, happiness, anger, they have depth. They, they have different levels of depth to them. A person can be very happy, very sad, very angry. But the, if for a healthy person, our emotions have some depth to them. Happiness is something we feel. It doesn't mean we're laughing really out loud or, you know, jumping up and down. It just might be that we have this incredible sense of well-being that overtakes us and say, oh, I just feel happy. I feel good. And a person who's profoundly depressed, that depth of that sadness overtakes them. It defines everything about them. So when we're talking about narcissistic individuals, it's interesting. Their emotions have a real shallowness to them. So whereas your happiness may go really deep, it's like a big, warm hug, their happiness is kind of shallow. So they look happy, but then you wonder, how did you go from happy to angry so quickly? Those quick switches in emotion are possible when emotion is very shallow. So when we talk about narcissists and happiness, you guys are already, if you've watched enough of these videos, you're an expert at this point as well. You know the things that make a narcissistic person happy. Validation, admiration, recognition, getting their way. They even get a little bit happy when they get something and someone else doesn't. That, that thing we call schadenfreude, like I got it, he didn't. Or they even kind of get really excited when something bad happens to someone else that they don't like. That's more of what schadenfreude is. But all of those things actually for the moment make them happy. Meeting someone new, getting their new admiration and validation, watching someone who, close to them like their own child or someone else that, that represents them do well actually makes them happy. And in that way, you'll think, well, they're happy, so isn't, isn't that a real state? It's not me. I, can, I will never judge another person's emotion. If, if I'm working with a narcissistic person and they say they're happy, I'm going to believe it. What I find, though, is how fleeting that state of happiness is. So imagine a narcissistic person is just having a perfect day. It's a beautiful, sunny day. It's 75 degrees. People are throwing a party for the narcissist. Everything is going off perfectly. The food is perfect. Everyone looks great. Everyone is giving them compliments. It, it, the whole day is about them. People are making speeches about them. Like, really, this is the narcissist's ultimate dream, to have that day. You'd be like, of course they're going to be happy that day. Not necessarily. It could very well be that one thing doesn't go right. Like one person that they thought should be there, I don't know, got sick and couldn't come. Or one person didn't say exactly what they, they wanted, like didn't notice something, or didn't give the kind of speech they wanted, or they felt dissed by them. For narcissistic people, happiness is what we call a very tenuous, almost temporary state. It's very, very fleeting, which is why if you're in any kind of a relationship with a narcissistic person, you'll be struck by like, the day is perfect. Everything's going great. How do we go from happy to really, really angry so quickly? And you might be thinking, I don't, I don't understand this. I don't get this. The reason you don't get this is you have to understand how shallow it is. That's why it can twist so quickly. Think of a, a healthy person's happiness. It's deep. It goes very deep. So you're having that perfect day, whatever it is, perfect day outdoors, perfect day having lunch with a friend. It doesn't have to be a perfect day. It's just a good day. You're just happy. You're good. Even if something went wrong for you on that good day, if you're a healthy person, you'd be like, all right, I got to deal with this. But the happiness still gives you the resilience and the bandwidth to be able to cope with that. 
That's why for a healthy person, in some ways, happiness and joy and other positive emotions is a little bit like money in the bank. Like It gives you some sort of a hedge, like, all right, I can handle this. Like It's kind of a bummer because we're having a great day, but we'll do it. And you still kind of have a smile on your face. Oh, hell no with a narcissist. It's going, it's going, and then one person doesn't get it right, and their, their face just changes. Their face changes just like that. And that's where you probably asked yourself, were they happy in the first place? Are they happy? Like, what is this? How could they have gone from a positive mood state to a negative mood state so quickly? Again, it's a shallowness. Think of it as ice on a lake. Very thin ice that looks like ice is going to break just like that. But thick, thick ice is going to last. You could probably even drive a car across it. Those of you up in nor very cold climates know that. It's amazing how thick that ice could get. But for the narcissistic person, their emotions are that thin ice, which is why it cracks so easily. So begging that question then, are they really happy? In that moment, when everything is lined up exactly the way they needed to, they're happy. I would say that it would be the happy that we, we would feel. It's just more shallow. What does that mean for you? If you are in a relationship with this, and I don't care if this is a family member, a parent, an adult child, a partner, friend, someone at work, this, this, this sort of applies across the board. How do you endure this? Because when you're with someone and you're happy, you assume the happiness is probably going to carry out during the day, unless something really catastrophic happens. But the longer the relationship with a narcissistic person lasts, the more you almost adjust to this idea like, these moods go from happy to sad to angry, and they just are all over the map. Part of it is what I've always said about these relationships, is the realistic expectations. These moods are going to shift. That's just how it goes. The narcissistic person over the course of a day would probably give many, many, many different answers to how's your mood, how's your mood. If we were to you know, do that kind of research, how's your mood, it might go happy, angry frustrated, disappointed, like it will seem much more what we call labile, moving all over the map. Whereas for some of us, it might be like, eh, my, my mood's okay today. You know, it might be over day, you're not having a great day. I'm still good, meh, okay, later in the day, eh, it's okay. And maybe if anything, something may actually make you laugh or cheer you up. The trickiest part of this is to wonder, like what if you're with an, a narcissistic individual and you're having a great day together? Nice meal out working on a project well together, having a good visit, and you're both happy at the same time. Is that real happiness for them? Again, we don't get to judge. If they say they're happy, they're happy, and you're enjoying that too. But here's the question I put to you. Are you able to keep staying happy when your narcissist mood switches just like that? They go from happy to angry because they sensed a tiny little bit of criticism or they're sensitive because something didn't come out the way they wanted or they were having a great day and you finally get to the restaurant but there's going to be a 10 minute line and they're used to being treated like a VIP everywhere they go. They can't believe they have to wait in this line. And the mood changes almost right away and you're like, oh man, we're having such a good day. This, this philosophical question, are narcissists happy? can also shed more light on why are we always walking on eggshells around them for exactly that reason, because the happiness can be so fleeting. I, I raise it as a philosophical question, are they really happy? Because again, it's not mine, it's not any of ours to question. At any given moment when someone tells us what their mood or their feeling is, we have to respect that. To do otherwise would actually be gaslighting. And you want to catch yourself that you don't say to the narcissist, you can't, you can't be angry, you were just happy a minute ago. They're angry. Trust me, they might have been <laughs> happy a minute ago, but they are angry. And understanding that the shape-shifting takes place and the moods can change so quickly can really help prepare you for how to survive one of these relationships. Again, close relationship, workplace, you name it. Once you recognize that, like, listen, let's ride this wave out for a minute. It's happy right now. Let's just have a good time. But be prepared that it could turn south. Don't waste your time worrying about it in advance. It's like, oh, my God, this is going to go wrong. This is going to go wrong. Eh, don't, don't waste your time with that. Rather, enjoy the moment it is. Enjoy the sunny day on the sunny day. 
don't worry that it might rain next week. It's sunny right now. Enjoy the sun right now. When it rains next week, you'll deal with it. When the narcissist mood goes from happy to sour, you'll deal with it then. You don't have as much control over this as you think. You might say, oh, if I say the right thing and if I do the right thing and if we sit in the right place and I make the right plans and you try, God, you try. You make so many arrangements. You try to get it as right as you can with your parent or with your friend or with your partner. You try to get it right. But that one little thing that could go wrong, like a flat tire, how do you control for that? So at some level, there has that's where the radical acceptance is so important that you accept that this is how it is. And that in some ways it's like being with a really colicky baby. You just don't know when that poor little baby is gonna explode. And then unfortunately with a baby it's a lot easier though. Honestly, they're so cute and you can take them out and you can hold them and you can sort of wiggle them and make it all better. That's not nearly as appealing an option with a 40 year old adult or a 70 year old adult. But to this philosophical question, are narcissists really happy? I think they have their moments, but it's probably not what you call happiness. That happiness that takes us from head to toe, that fills us up, that helps us get through a tough day, that means that we don't take a throw a tantrum because we have to wait 10 minutes at a restaurant. For a narcissistic person, moods are fleeting. The happiness they have in a moment is their happiness. When it shifts, don't blame yourself. As always, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm very grateful for this community. Hit the bell to get notifications and subscribe. You'll hear about our, not only our regular content, but special series. And as always, toss us some ideas in the comments for new content. We're always, always welcome to taking on new challenges and new questions on this channel. Thanks again.